Hello Red Army and welcome back to another video and I'm building up to the Aberdeen vs Motherwell game at Pataudry tomorrow night. Um, before I actually get into the building up to the game I just want to talk about the Aberdeen open training session yesterday morning and it was a really great day you know you just got to go down to Pataudry and watch the players train it was all in the Richard on lower deck I think it was actually mostly full so it was great to see all the fans coming down to support the boys on a Monday morning as well so it wasn't exactly easy you know just to get down to Pataudry. You know, it was really good. I've got an Instagram page that just put out pictures of the game. I put a couple of videos up as well. And I've got pictures with all the players. And I know I've also got their autographs. I signed up on this thing. I think I got this thing uh, a few years ago. And I, it didn't really come to much use. So I just thought I'd get all, the, get all the players to sign it. And it was really good, really good day out. And yeah, it was just brilliant to watch the players train and really see how they train at and that's really why we need the new Kingsford Stadium because all the training facilities that we'll have there so yeah it was a really um great morning out and you know go over to my Instagram page there'll be more things about that just Aberdeen Fan TV and Instagram and you'll just uh, you can just see what I was posting and just see what was really going on so yeah let's start building up to the game and let's talk a little bit about Motherwell first and you know, we haven't had the best of records against them in the past few years, well, especially this season. You know, we got beat 3-0 by them at Fir Park. You know, they absolutely demolished us that game. Fair play to Motherwell. They played out their skin in that game. And it was the same with the Scottish Cup semi-final last year. You know, they beat us 3-0. They just played us off the park. Yes, we were missing a few players on that day. I think it was McLean, Shinny and Logan were all out. So, yeah, it, it was uh, a bit of a mismatch, but... You know, Motherwell played well and, you know, they fully deserved the win on that day. And so, yeah, Motherwell in 7th played this season. They're 11 points behind 6th. Um, so, with 6, I think Hibs are 6th. So, it doesn't really, I think it's impossible for them to get top 6 now. So, yeah, they'll be in the bottom half of the split. Probably the best team there. So, they'll be in the bottom half of the split. So, we probably won't be playing them again this season. So, this will be our last time against them this season. And uh, yeah, hopefully the Pataudry atmosphere can really get behind the boys. So yeah, I really hope that um, we can just play to our f what we have been away from home this season because obviously I know our home record hasn't been great. You know, we I think we all know that. I think we've won about one game since the twenty second of December at home, and it was against Queen of the South in the Scottish Cup. So we actually haven't won a league game since the twenty second of December at Pataudry, and that's just not good. And not good enough. It's not like we've played that many like how would you say like top six teams i think the only really top six team we've played is at Pataudry are Kilmarnock and Rangers since the return of the year so i think the rest of our games have been like it's like Hamilton Livingston are a good side but i think we played um St Mirren at some point we drew with them and you know we've just been really poor at home this whole season to be honest because we had some dodgy results in the first half of the season against St Johnston where i think they beat us 2-0 and we lost to Kelly as well at home so yeah, we have had some dodgy results at home this season, but hopefully that can change because it's, we're going to have to win at home at some point. You know, it's as simple as that. We're going to have to win at home at some point. And, you know, the game is, was it April the 3rd? There's a lot, there's a bit of a difference between April the 3rd and December the 22nd. So it's going to come. We definitely are going to win a game at home, hopefully, between now and the end of the season because this, this is the last home game before the split. And I think if I've done it right... After the split, we'll be facing Celtic, Hearts and Hibs at home. So all very tough games, as you would expect after the split. But, you know, this is going to be uh, probably, as you can look at it, one of our easiest games before the split. So we definitely need to win this game because it's going to be a real uphill task to try and get into European football from now on. I think what um, McInnes might do, if we can't get third, he, we might just have to throw all our uh, eggs into the basket of the Scottish Cup. Which I don't think is right because we can't we can't just throw everything at the Scottish Cup because we're playing Celtic in the semi final. You know Celtic if they turn up and play to their hundred percent best they'll beat us on the day. But the good thing for us they never normally do. So yeah, um I really hope we can beat Celtic in that semi final because it's we're three points behind Kilmarnock now so we need to beat Kilmarnock definitely when we play them down at Rugby Park. And I think we also need them to slip up because they've still got, obviously, Celtic and Rangers to play as well. So hopefully they can do us a favour because we're not going to get second now. I think that's pretty obvious. So I think we just have to concentrate on third and try and push Kilmarnock as far as we possibly can. And uh, this is um, 
uh, the hearts was really the start of the tough fixture list. You know, I don't really want to end on too much on about hearts because it was just a really poor second half. It was a tale of two halves, I think we've got to say that. First half we played really well, second half we played probably the worst we've played all season. So, you know, um, it was a completely different team that we saw in the first half to the second. It, I, I didn't even think it was the same players, to be honest, we were that bad in the second half. But, you know, we need to... We need to win this game. We're under pressure. If we don't win this game, it's going to be another... It's a draw, two points dropped. You know, this is a must-win game. I've been saying for all the home games that really... All of the home games, maybe except Celtic, are really must-win for us. I think, especially over the past few years, where I think London McKinnis, where our waveform hasn't been great, but this season our waveform has been keeping us in the league. So, yeah, we need to start performing at home, and this is the perfect game to start. You know, Motherwell's going to be a hard game, but, yeah, we really need to get behind the boys here. It's obviously going to be tough, because Pataudry atmospheres are quite dire in, the, in these kind of matches. So there won't be much Motherwell fans coming up. So that I think that does have a massive effect, because if there's lots of away fans coming up, then that kind of brings out the best in us supporters. So, yeah, it's going to be some this is going to be down to the supporters because we've also obviously got the big semi-final coming up down to Hamden and we really need the supporters to get behind the boys in every game we play for the, for the remainder of the season. So, yeah, it's going to be really tough against Motherwell because they're a good side. But I think if we play on our day to our best at home, I think we can beat them because I think Motherwell will just do what most other teams try to do. They'll just come up, try and frustrate us and hit it in and hit us on the break which is trying what which is kind of what we do away from home especially against the big teams so now i'm going to move on to my preferred 11 so in goal joe lewis obviously i saw the keeper and right back i think go dominic ball dominic ball has fallen ill because he wasn't at the open training session yesterday but hopefully he's back for this game because he's our best right back at the moment although last season in the scottish cup his first game at right back a semi-final was against motherwell and he had a really poor game. I can't um just say how poor that game was. He was out of position the outer how many times I can remember, about four or five times. He cost us two of the goals and yeah, it was kinda mostly his, well not mostly, but it was, some of it was his fault for the game against Motherwell in the semi final. So Motherwell exploited him really well in that game and hopefully he can play a lot better in this game. And the two centre back partnership of Scott McKenna and Andrew Considine. You know, they are they are really poor second half against Hearts, but so did everyone, so we can't really just blame them. I think I'd only really give pass marks to Joe Lewis and Conor McLaren in, in that second half against Hearts because it was atrocious. It was a shambles all over the pitch. So, um, yeah, I think the only people I give pass marks to is Lewis and McLennan. But this is a big test for McKenna and Constantine because they need to prove that one game can't get their whole season down because... If this continues to happen, you know, they continue to make mistakes, they'll become a target. And especially when we're playing Celtic in a couple of weeks, you know. This is we're Celtic, this is the semi final, it's gonna be our biggest game of the season. And McKenna and Constantine need to go out tomorrow against Motherwell and make a statement to say, you know, they can be one of the best centre back partnerships in the premiership. So left back I've gone for Max Lowe. You know, the just the best player we have in that position and hopefully he does sign on. I doubt he will, but at least hopefully we'll get him alone for another season next year because I do think he likes playing up in Aberdeen. So this two C D N partnerships of Shane and Ferguson being one of the best partnerships in the premiership this season, you know, Shane and Ferguson. Shane is gonna be a massive miss in the semi final. You know, we're gonna miss that type of breaking up the play player in the middle of the park. So yeah, I think Ferguson and Dean Campbell will probably be the partnership for that game and maybe we should <coughs> sorry I think that some parts of me are thinking that we should play Campbell and Ferguson in this game because it's probably because we've got Dundee in between this game and the semi-final and I don't really want to just throw Ferguson and Dean Campbell into a Celtic game so maybe at some point Shinny could come off and then we'd see Dean Campbell and Ferguson in the middle of the park if that's the material that he is going to play for the game but I, th I don't really feel comfortable just throwing them into a Celtic game. I do deserve, think they deserve some time to play with each other. So maybe this could be the game. Maybe Shinny could be benched. But I don't really know, to be honest. I hope Shinny does play. But maybe see Dean Campbell come on at some point for him. So <coughs> on the wings, I've gone for Mugin and McLennan, obviously. Uh, Gary Mackay-Stevens not going to be back for another few weeks. 
and it's not really too much for miss at the moment because we've got McLennan's really started to come through. McLennan's probably one of our most consistent players right now, and obviously McGinn on the other side, you know, he's started to perform like the McGinn of old. There was not seen McGinn's a great player, you know, he's we've seen it for Northern Ireland, he's scoring there, and McGinn's still one of our best players. So he really needs to perform in this game because he could be the difference between us winning this game and not. So the front partnership, I'm actually going for Stevie May in the centre forward position today because I do think that Greg Stewart hasn't really been performing to his best as we saw the first half of the season at Kilmarnock. Yes, sometimes I do think he doesn't get the credit he deserves, but maybe we could see May and Cosgrove, you know, the partnership for the rest of the season because it was working really well in December time and May is just a really good, he works so hard. May is probably our hardest working player in the team. But he just needs to improve in his first touch and then he'd be a proper really good footballer. I do think that injury at St Johnston's held him back. So I do hope that Stevie May can start playing properly again and hopefully this can be the game that can come back in. And maybe if we're needing a goal we can bring Greg Stewart on so that I think Stevie May should start this game. And obviously up front I've gone for Sammy Cosgrove Ballon d'Or. I did that for a joke, did ask him on um, the open training session if he's going to win the Ballon d'Or. He said, yeah, maybe not, maybe in the next couple of years, which I did think was quite funny. But um, yeah, hopefully he can get a goal for us. So now I'm moving on to my school prediction. And I think, as I've said, I think that we're going to have to win at home at some point. It's just why it's going to happen. And I do think t tomorrow could be the game where, we're, where that does happen. I think we're going to win tomorrow two by two goals to one. We need to go out and make a statement because after that Hearts performance in the second half, we need to go out and get three points on the board. And I think this is the perfect game to go and do it. You know, we've also got a big Dundee game on Saturday, so that's a big away game. So, yeah, I think the goal scorers will be... Every time I predict Cosgrove to score, he doesn't score. So I'm not going to predict Cosgrove. I'm going to say Conor McLennan and... Scott McKenna to score ahead of. I think that's what is going to happen. Let me know down in the comments what your preferred 11 is and who you think is going to score and what the score is going to be. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. And hopefully the next time I see you, Aberdeen will have picked up three points against Motherwell for the first time at Pathology since the 22nd of December. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.